What up YouTube? It is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now today as you can tell from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys, we're unboxing the Air Jordan 12 Utility, better known as Grind. Now guys, this sneaker seemed to be one that just kind of fell up under the radar on the hype level. And people did not seem to gravitate towards it on, again, the hype scale. However, in my opinion, this was a definite must cop for me. It's an all black Air Jordan 12 primarily over the upper. Although it does have that controversial outsole that people are saying it's pretty much the recycled material that Nike is using where they have the grind recycled materials that gives it that speckled look. And that is actually correct. Yes, it does have 3% of the recycled material that they call grind. And I'm pretty sure it's ran through a bunch of different processes and just ground it up or grind it up, however you wanna say that, and thrown together to make different materials such as rubber, textile, canvas, whatever they use it for, what it is to help out the environment. So I'm gonna rock with it, guys. I think it's a very dope look. But the outsole is sort of frosted and translucent as well, which gives it an even more dope touch to me. And I'm not opposed to it. But again, a lot of people didn't care for it. Some people actually like the original or basic type of things. But for me, hey man, I'm all about something new. Now change isn't always good, but in some cases change is good because without new, you never have new. And this is one of those cases where this sneaker, hey, new looks good. Plus again, you can't go wrong with the primarily black Air Jordan. Now comment below and let me know if you guys went after this sneaker or not. It did seem to be a little tough to get your hands on. A lot of people took L's on the sneakers app. A lot of people took L's on Flex, Hibbit, you name it. Pretty much a lot of the raffles were tough to get. Even for myself, you guys know if you follow the channel I double up triple up sometimes on sneakers because if I don't have multiple pairs then I'm likely not going to rock at least one but this was one that got away from me guys as far as the double up goes I only have that one pair so these will likely not get rocked just something to have in the collection pretty cool looking sneaker so I'm glad to have it now the sneaker did release yesterday guys and again it sold out pretty damn fast but unfortunately it's day two and I'm just now getting the video recorded and up so thank you guys for rocking with your boy I just want to give my opinion on this shoe because it did seem to be downplayed by a lot of my fellow shoe tubers, but that ain't the case for me, guys. Yesterday was my birthday, and this was a birthday pickup, so I'm glad to have this one in the collection of fire shoe for a birthday pickup. So, yeah, I'm digging it 100%. Now, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, and as you can see here, we did secure the bag at Champ. So, big ups, Champ Sports, for the W on this one. Big up flex account man my flex account has just been outstanding for me lately now i know a lot of people don't really hit on flex some do some don't some people hit on sneakers sneakers has been an ass to your boy lately just terrible man l l l l l so big ups to flex again thank you Foot Locker inc for rocking with your boy but as you can see here guys we do have the standard air jordan 12 box black on the bottom red on the top with that jordan branding there on the side we get that cardboard look on the top of the box with a black jump man smack dab in the center back of the box we get that quality inspired by the greatest player ever and on one side of the box we get that jump man with our size sticker and the size sticker reads air jordan 12 retro the colorway is black bright crimson this is a men's us size 10 personal size for me and the air jordan and the suggested retail value is 190 us dollars all right guys let's see what we have under the lid all right as you see here we have our typical flip lid on the box and i'm not seeing a quality control sticker on the inside of the lid taking a look at our tissue paper as you can see we do have the brown tissue paper and let's go ahead and get the shoe out and there you have it guys the air jordan 12 utility better known as grind a very very clean air jordan 12 in my opinion digging this shoe a lot glad to have it in the collection let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on the shoe 
All right, now right off the bat, when I pulled this shoe out of the box in store and took a look at it, man, it is immaculate. I feel like the quality on this sneaker is very, very good compared to some of the Air Jordans that we've been getting recently. The materials also are very good on this sneaker. I'm digging it a lot. Let's go ahead and go over it in depth. Starting here with that outsole, as you can see, we do get that grind outsole with the recycled material. Again, Nike in their story did mention that this is only 3% recycled material. Unlike the recycled material on the Air Jordan Mid Crater that I recently did, go check that video out if you like. It looks a little bit different and that had 20% recycled material. However, with this one, as you can see, we do have that frosted looking, what appears to be a similar color as an icy outsole, a little bit of gray going on there, a little bit of blue, it's just kind of a blend of blue and gray, but again, has those specks in it and the specks are actually white and there are also some black specks as well. Pretty cool, digging that outsole a lot, no matter how controversial it is to some other people, I think this is a dope touch. It gives it a nice contrast to the upper versus just having Having all black like I heard some people mention it would look better if it was all black if you're new to the game maybe you have it you can go out there and check stock X go look at some older Air Jordans and you may see the Air Jordan 12 master or also the Air Jordan 12 winner and you do get an all black shoe so why do that to this one this is something different and different is good let the shoe speak for itself we cannot have same 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 non-stop or you just have same 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 non-stop now that was a little rhetorical but you get the point new can be good guys and I am not opposed to it especially in a case like this however we're going over our midsole here you can see we do get a black midsole and we get that almost honeycomb shaped texture or some kind of reptile skin sort of texture and that is in foam guys as well as we get black foam here on the rear midsole however this area is a little bit different texture than we got on this area moving on up here to this mud guard a very very clean look to the mud guard guys this is new buck material or suede material it's hard to differentiate the difference between new buck and suede they are pretty much identical the only difference is one is a little more hairier per se or the other is a little more smooth new buck being the more smooth suede being the more hairy and this is sort of an in-between feel it's like a low hair suede but it also feels like new buck but as you can see it does have that little texture that is going over it almost like a basketball type texture and i think that is very dope it does give some character to the sneaker it gives it that old school air jordan signature feel somehow even though some sneakers may have not had that on it it just just gives me an old school vibe and I dig it a lot. Very clean on the mud guard. Moving on up to the upper, you can see we do have that rising sun stitching in black on a black leather. And it is a little bit of a shiny leather, not too matte, not too shiny, but it does have a shine to it. And it is a tumble leather at that guys. And it is very soft. So I'm thinking this could potentially be genuine leather. Not sure. Could be synthetic as well, but it is a very good synthetic leather if it is synthetic. Nice and soft and plush, nothing too stiff or hard just clean overall guys a very very decent air jordan 12 loving it a lot now up here on our eyelets we do have those chrome hits on the eyelets this is not actually metal this is just painted so it is plastic i hate when they do that i feel like they should go ahead and put metal pieces on the shoe it will make it even more dope but then you have the potential for it to rust so hmm, maybe the paint isn't too too bad now one of the key features here on the side of the sneaker is this jump man tab now it is in black plastic with jump man embossed into it however we do get this bright crimson strip going around it and that is the first time I've seen something like this on the Air Jordan 12 that sets the shoe apart from any other Air Jordan 12 and I think it's a dope touch due to the lighting it looks to be a bit orange but it is actually a bright crimson almost like an infrared color just pull it back away from the light a little bit and see if that helps but it may not you'll have to get this in hand to see the actual color on this area but that pretty much wraps it up for the lateral side of the shoe moving along on to the medial side of the shoe as you can see we get a very similar look as we got on the lateral side this is have a different shape here to the mud guard we also don't get jump man on that tab there but we do get the bright crimson piping or outlining whatever you want to call it on the medial side as well so that is pretty cool on our outsole here you can see we do get these sort of vented areas and you can see the carbon fiber just kind of shining up through there very dope love that part of the air jordan 12 we also get our chrome eyelets on this side as well with that same rising sun stitching pretty dope for the medial side of the shoe moving along taking a look at the shoe from the top down now this is a very nice look from the top as you can see we get almost half of that grind material on this side and you can see that midsole on this side so it kind of gives it a split look I think that's a very nice touch when you look at your shoes from the top down and you can see we got that Air Jordan arm and ball in white it gives it a nice contrast I don't think that's bad at all but we do have that new bug mud guard here on the toe as well as we have that tumbled leather we get black thin rope laces in place and then going up the tongue guys this is the change up and this is what gives the shoe the utility 
name. We do get this ballistic mesh tongue, and I'll get a little closer so you can see that. It's very similar to the mesh that we would get on an Air Jordan 11. A little bit different, but very similar. And also a nice new touch as well is that 2-3 going down the tongue, as well as our Jumpman. We do have that in black on the overlay, bright crimson on the sides, just kind of stroking each letter and the Jumpman. Very clean. It gives it sort of a rugged look. Now, I wasn't too sure how this looked when I was looking at images. I thought it was sort of faded, but when I look at it in person, it is completely black on the top, outlined with bright crimson. Very, very dope in my opinion. It gives it more of that utility look. And again, a rugged look at that. Going to the rear of the sneakers, you can see our outsole, that grind just going up the back. Very nice. All black on the upper, just wrapping around the shoe. Pretty, pretty clean in my opinion, guys. I love a blacked out, smoky look to a shoe, and this screams it. Now, we do get that white 23 painted there. That's a nice contrast. I can dig it, especially since we have white on the front arm and ball of the Jumpman logo. But that back tab, guys, that is very dope for an Air Jordan 12. I'm digging this a lot. I love the back tab, and this is a definite smoky look with that smoke gray box that we get with a black Jumpman, as well as the smoke gray text we get for the Jordan, quality inspired by the greatest player ever text on the tab. Now, I'll go ahead and turn the shoe sideways for those of you who want to read that. Very, very dope in my opinion. On to the interior of the shoes, you can see it is very tough to see inside of there, so I'll go ahead and explain it, guys. We do get a black mesh sock liner. That is very nice. It's very padded-like, very foamy. It's just really comfortable feeling. On the back of the tongue, we have our size tag. We get a cardboard shoe tree in place, and on our insole, we get a bright crimson insole with a black Jumpman painted on there, as well as we have our size sticker. I'm just going to open the shoe up a little bit so you guys can see in there what I'm talking about on that bright crimson. Very, very nice on the insole of the shoe. And aha, onto the outsole of the shoe, guys. A very dope outsole in my opinion, guys. No matter what anyone says about that grind material, this frosted translucent look to this outsole is very, very dope in my opinion, guys. Just nice as heck. As you can see, the grind material in there, we do get that white Jumpman on the tip, as well as we get that white 23. Very nice, a contrast. It's always good to have contrast. It's okay to have solid colors at times, but contrast does look good. We also get these black pods here on the forefront and the rear of the outsole. Then right there in the center, we do get that black and gray carbon fiber. Very, very nice. Love this shoe overall, guys. Super dope sneaker in my opinion. Now, once again, you just saw right here on All About the Sneakers, the Air Jordan 12 Utility, better known as Grind. A very clean sneaker. Glad to have this one in the collection. Glad to have this as a birthday sneaker for 2021. This one is here to stay. Despite the non-hype, the hate for the shoe, although it did tend to sell out. And it may also restock no matter what though guys. I love this shoe. Cop what you like. Forget the hype. Y'all know how we rock here on the channel. We're not doing the hype man. We're not doing the hype. Now it's cool to play into it sometimes but man think for yourself. If your eyes look at something it's eye candy to you and you think it'll match with a lot of your fits like this right here. You know it will. Just grab it man. Stop it. Now if you're a reseller I get it. If you're a reseller yeah you follow the hype. But if you're just a sneakerhead in general that's not what it's about. It's oh it gotta be like this or oh it's gotta look like something that's already came out. No way, Jose. Cop what you like. Forget the hype. However, guys, again, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now, we did recently hit the 1500 subscriber mark, guys. We are on the road to 2K, so make sure you smash that subscribe button, share the videos with your friends, share the channel with your friends, and make sure they smash the subscribe button as well. But go ahead and run the likes up on this video, guys. It does help the algorithm a lot. It gets the videos boom, and it gets the channel boom, and so smash that like button. Just take the time. Stop right now and go on ahead and smash it up. And I'd really appreciate it. However, thank you as always for watching. That is all I have for this episode. Until the next episode, keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, All About the Sneakers, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute. I'm out.